So we're doing an electrolysis of a sodium chloride solution. In the electrolysis of a sodium chloride solution, what volume of hydrogen gas is produced in the same time it takes to produce 132 liters of chlorine gas, with both volumes measured at 50 degrees Celsius and 2.74 atmospheres? Report your answer in normal notation. All right. Um, so uh, I guess the first thing I have to do is figure out what half reactions are going to be taking place here. So um, what are the what are our starting materials here? Um, uh, sodium or sodium and yeah, S neutral sodium or sodium ion. Sodium ion. And And what else? Water. Water. It's aqueous. And we need to figure out who we're going to put at the anode and who we're going to put at the cathode. So let's see here. We have to find some half reactions that would be relevant. What would be a relevant half reaction for the chlorine? You have to use your textbook to work that out. reactions, we have chlorine 2 plus 2 electrons formed 2 chlorides. Okay, good. Um, okay, now um, this was written as a reduction, but which way are we going to write it? That's an oxidation. Because we're not starting with chlorine gas, we're starting with chloride ion. Sodium chloride is ionic. So we'll reverse this. So what should I write down as the potential for this reaction? Negative 1.36. Because we reversed it. Yeah, in the table it's positive 1.36, but we reversed the reaction. So this would be negative 1.36 volts. And I'm going to make a note that that's the oxidation potential. I, all right, now you have to check because sometimes there could be more than one reaction that something can go through, but I think this is the only reaction for chlorines. The only reaction that uh, makes sense here for chlorines, for chloride anions, is going to be that one. So we're done with the chloride. Um, so now we have to see if there's any other half reactions that might be reasonable for us there. Yeah, let's think about what the water could do here. Yeah, this is the part that really. Now, they gave us a clue here. They told us that we're producing H2 gas. And they told us that we're producing chlorine gas. We were told in the problem that we were producing H2 and chlorine gas. Well, so far we're on the right track then because we've written down a half reaction as producing chlorine gas. So that gives us some confidence that we're on the right, tr on the right track. Now we need to look for a reaction that's going to produce the H2 gas. Well, where do you think the H2 gas is coming from? It must be coming from the water. So let's see if we can find a half reaction that uh, seems reasonable for that.
Now, the problem with that is that that's got uh, oxygen gas in it. Uh, let's see, does that make sense here? Eh, maybe that doesn't make sense. So, what do they tell us here, electrons? Well, because if we're looking for another oxidation, right. then it would have to be that other one flipped, making the O2. Yeah, this is tricky because there's a bunch of equations that have waters in them. Well, this is good practice to see which equations to use. Um, this equation doesn't make sense because it required... So, which reaction do you want to do here? Um, the forward or reverse? The, the reverse. The reverse reaction? You, you mean you want to go from here to here? Yeah, because yeah, that's right. reducing. All right, now there's a couple of problems with this. First of all, this won't give us the hydrogen gas. Right. And we were looking for a reaction that will give us hydrogen gas, and this doesn't do it. Um, also, this starts with hydroxide starting materials, but we don't have hydroxide starting materials. Um, this would be maybe good if they told us we were in a basic solution, say maybe an aqueous basic solution. Well, then we would know an aqueous basic solution has lots of hydroxides around that we can use. Sometimes you'll see a problem that does say basic solutions. Yeah. That would be a clue that, that we could use this. Okay. Of course, water does have, even neutral water has a small amount of hydroxide, but that's just 10 to the negative 7, so that's not going to really help this reaction to happen. Okay. There's a couple reasons why um, we're going to have to um, not use this reaction. For one thing, it doesn't have the hydrogen gas, which is what we're looking for. And also, it's got the wrong starting materials. Um, so here was one of the possibilities that we saw, because this is producing hydrogen gas. Um, but I think there's another equation that's better. Let's see. Any other equations with water and hydrogen gas? So let's write that down. That would be uh, O2 plus 4H plus plus 4 electrons forms 2 H2O. And the reduction potential there. 1.23, is that right? Like this. Wait a second. I don't like that either. That still doesn't give us hydrogen gas. Okay, yeah. Oh, All right, so here's another candidate. Uh, but again, this doesn't seem like a great candidate because we're not getting the hydrogen gas out of this. So it looks like uh, we're stuck with these equations. These should be the ones that we're going to work with. So let's see how that's going to work. Um, so we have a chloride starting material. Um, and should we use this equation or the reverse of this equation? Well, that's a reduction, so we can use that one. Yeah, well, first of all, does it, um, yeah, here we're using an oxidation, so we want a reduction. Also, does this have the right starting material? Yes. Well, yes it has water. And does it have the right product? Yes, it has an H2 product. Um, so this does give us the right things. This is also producing hydroxide. That's okay. We wouldn't want a reaction with hydroxide as a starting material, but it's okay to have hydroxide as a product here. We can certainly be making hydroxide. Anything else here that produces hydrogen gas? There's another equation that has two H pluses to form hydrogen gas. 2H pluses plus 2 electrons is hydrogen gas, but we, we don't have H pluses. We've got water, so that doesn't look good. Uh, anything else with H2 formula? And what we really want here is a reduction that's forming hydrogen gas. Yeah, so you can see it's really easy to, to miss things in this table. You guys have to take your finger and run over the whole table. But this looks like the only reduction that's forming hydrogen gas. And this looks like our only oxidation here that's using chloride ions to form chlorine gas. So these are going to be um, our two options here. What's going to be uh, then, uh, is our cell potential here going to be positive or negative? Overall? Yeah. Negative. Is that good or bad based on the problem? Is that what we want or not what we want? It is what we want, right? Because it's an electrolysis. I got the problem oh, here. But it right. said in an electrolysis of a sodium chloride solution. 
So it's good that these are, so you can see neither of these are happy reactions, right? They're both unhappy, but that's what we want. We want things that are unhappy because otherwise we wouldn't need the electrolysis. So that's confirming that we're on the right track. Um, it, it's, we're, it's good that we're getting a negative cell potential because otherwise we wouldn't need to do an electrolysis here. So this do seem like the half reactions. 